you may have a problem with someone, that person may really, really irritate you. They may get on your nerves so badly. Like, <laughs> that person may make you angry from their childish behavior. Like, I guess they can use logic, but when it comes down to you, at times, it may seem like their brain cells are dead. What I have been learning what I have been learning that enemy you may have that annoying person that childish immature reckless person you may not like to hear this but uh, depending on the case you may need that person and you may say Kevin what are you saying I believe some people are given to us as a test. I have been living for Jesus Christ for some time, not many, many, many years, but for some time. And I believe this really has shown itself to me if you understand what I mean by that. For one, I believe our enemies can help us mature better in Jesus Christ. I believe they can help us become more patient, become more compassionate, become more understanding, long-suffering, and stuff like that through their ignorance. By them acting strange or acting with, how can I say this? By them treating you in the wrong way, I believe your enemies can help you through the evil that they are doing to you. I believe they can help you become more spiritually mature. And like I said, it really depends on the case. The way I see it, you can say I am wrong and that is okay. You can say I am wrong, but this is what I have been learning, and I truly believe it. I believe many enemies we have are a test, a spiritual, spiritual, spiritual test to us. I truly believe it. It's not so much about how they act toward us. It's about how we act toward them. I hope this is making sense now. They can act reckless. They can act ignorant. They can say ridiculous things out of their mouths, whether it makes sense or not. 
they can say whatever they want but when it comes down to you how are you going to act toward their ignorance toward their i am trying to be careful with my words how are you going to act toward their immaturity that is i believe that is the test okay let me send let's say there is a christian that is trying to do what is right trying to behave better trying to speak very good in a good way as in not cussing and all that stuff like that let's say someone is trying to really 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 stick on the path to jesus christ i believe an enemy is purposely sent on that path to that christian to give that christian a hard time i truly believe so I truly believe so. What we have to understand, we have to stop reacting badly to our enemies. Yes, they may say things that aren't true. They may hurt us. They may steal from us. They may uh set us up and all that stuff like that but someone doing evil to us is not an excuse for us to do evil back if someone does wrong to us we should not do wrong back we have to get to that point. We can't keep, we cannot keep falling for the same tricks over and over and over again. Have you noticed, maybe you have not noticed, or have you noticed you can't escape all your enemies? you may be able to escape deandre naming random names you may be able to escape sarah deandre james tiffany uh sarah uh, sam but no matter how many enemies you escape it seems like another one pops up and why is that i am trying to tell you your enemy i believe in many cases your enemy is a test unto you to you kevin that person lied to me they manipulated me and i am going to get my revenge no didn't i tell you i believe in many cases our enemies is a test to us why my lord we have to stop falling for the same tricks over and over again we have to get to the point to where like, not only learn better, but do better. What are you going to do? Get revenge on all of your enemies? But what is going to happen to you? Aren't you going to reap what you sow? We have to get smart. We have to go by the rules of the Bible. I'm not saying that we are going to be 100% perfect, but we, we can't continue falling for the same tricks. I believe your enemy 
is a help to you. All my enemies I have are a help to me, are a help to me. And you may say, why? I believe through their ignorance or through their uh, lies or whatever else, I believe through the bad that they do to me, if I go by the word of God, I believe what they are doing to me or have done or whatever, what they are doing to me, I believe it makes me, it will make me more patient, more long suffering, more understanding, more loving, more, you know, traits that we need as a Christian. So I believe my enemies are in a sense stretching me. I hope you understand what I mean, stretching me. We can't stay the way that we are. We have to become more like Jesus Christ. So if we have to become more like Jesus Christ and I am not at 100% like Jesus Christ now, then that means what? I have more room for improvement. I would even say, but please don't take this wrong. I believe your enemies, I believe many of your enemies are your salvation. Not saying that they are Jesus Christ, I am not saying that. But I believe your enemies will help you to change and get better. I truly believe it. If you choose to go by the Bible, if you choose to go by the Bible on how you treat them, you may want to run away from every single enemy, and that is not smart. Some enemies you need. Even now, I believe there are some people who may say lies about me, may say I'm this and I'm that, may do this and may do that to me, but I believe they all are helping me because if I want to go by the word of God, I believe through their evil, it is helping me to become better. Do I like bad things happening to me? No, but I believe it is needed. It may not feel good, but I believe it is needed. Let me say it in this way too. I believe your enemies, I would not say, I'm not saying they are exactly like your friend, but in a spiritual sense, I would say they, if you are choosing to go by the Bible, I just lost the word from my mind. Anyways, I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you. Stop. Yeah, God bless you.